What's up everyone, it's me named Jamie and welcome to my Kandarin Elite Diary Guide. Before we start the guide, I'd like to remind you guys that if you enjoy the content, it would mean a ton to me if you could head down below and hit the subscribe button as it really does help the channel grow. Now to complete the Elite Diary, you're going to need to have completed the following quest. Family Crest, Barbarian Training, which includes the Barbarian Herb Lore, Smithing, and Barbarian Firemaking, and you're also going to need to have completed Lunar Diplomacy. For the skill requirements, you're going to need 79 farming, 76 fishing, 80 cooking, 86 herb lore, 60 agility, 90 smithing, 85 fire making, 85 crafting, and 87 magic. For your inventory, you're going to need one dwarf seed, one seed dibber, one spade, one rake, some ultra compost, one harpoon, cooking gauntlets, stamina potion 2, caviar, runite bar, a hammer, two magic logs, chewed bones, one tinder box, a wood cutting axe, 10 water runes, three astro runes, and three law runes. I also have a pie to boost my herb lore, which you may or may not need. Also, I suggest you have a games necklace. For me, I'm just going to be using my house teleports. You are also going to need to be on the lunar spell book. Now to start the guide, I'm gonna go over how to get chewed bones for those of you who do not know since it is the hardest or most time consuming part of the diary by far. If you already know how to get chewed bones and you would like to get right into the guide, simply skip ahead as I will have timestamps on the video. Now to get chewed bones, I went with a relatively cheap melee setup. A Zami Hasta, Carol's Top and Bottom, a Fury, a Serp Helm, D-Boots, Berserker Ring, Dragon Defender, and a Fire Cape. Basically gear that will just increase your stab bonus. If you cannot afford the Zami Hasta because it is the most expensive part of the gear, feel free to switch to an Abyssal Dagger as it is much cheaper. For your inventory, you're going to want to bring one extended super anti-fire potion, a super combat potion, one to two prayer potions, 10 to 12 sharks, one games necklace, and a teleport out of the cave. And for me, both the teleports are just going to be my house teleports. One thing about this setup is that you need to bring the super anti-fire potion since we're not bringing an anti-fire dragon shield. To get to the myth of dragons, teleport to the barbarian outpost. Once you are here, run directly south until you get to the dock. Once you're here at the dock, click on the whirlpool and head down into the cave. Once you are down here, drink one sip of both your anti-fire and combat potion and turn on protect from mage. Then run down the staircase and then go directly south. A little south here you should find another staircase. Head up it and here you should find the mithril dragons. Go ahead and turn on your protect from melee and start hitting them. They shouldn't hit that hard and within 1-3 to three hours you should get your chewed bones since they are a 1 in 42 drop rate. For me, it took around 3 hours since I had to get around 80 kills. Now once you have your chewed bones in your full inventory and you're ready to go, teleport to Catherby using the Lunar Spellbook. This should complete achievement number 1. Next run directly northeast to the herb patch here, rake it and plant your dwarf seed. Make sure to use your super compost because you don't want it to die. This herb will be ready in 80 minutes, so we'll come back then. After you've planted the seed, run southeast a little bit to the fishing spot and equip your cooking gauntlets. Use your harpoon to fish 5 sharks. Once you have done that, head directly west to the cooking range next to the bank and cook all 5 of your sharks, completing achievement number 2. After this is done, head northwest to the Sears Bank. Once here, climb on top of it and right click your caviar to use it on your stamina potion too. Make sure you right click it instead of left clicking it because if you left click it you will eat the caviar. After this is done, teleport with your games necklace to the barbarian outpost.
Once here, run directly east to the Barbarian Assault Board and read it. Make sure you have mastered all roles for this achievement to count. After this is done, run out of the building and then directly sell. Once you get to the dock, you should find these black tiles. Left click them to construct your pirate ship and complete your next step. After the animation is done, run west and then south around the lake. On the west side of the lake here, you should find a building and an anvil. Use your rune knight bar on the anvil and make a rune hasta. Make sure you choose option number two here and not option number one. After 80 minutes, go back to the herb patch in Catherby. Make sure you have on you a spade and your secateurs. After you pick the herb, you should finish the Candor and Elite Diary. After you've done this, head directly west over to Sears and speak with Wedge. He should give you your lamp and headgear. I hope you enjoyed the guide. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. The link for my Discord is in the description. And remember, my name is Jamie, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!